Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Isaiah Legend, and in today's video, I got an update on the Minecraft PS4 Edition Sports League that I run. So, without further ado, let's get into it. The reason why I say Minecraft PS4 Edition is because this is what Minecraft used to look like. Yeah, it might be, it might be shocking those who don't have um, PS4 Edition, but this is what the old Minecraft used to look like. The OG Minecraft, the goaded Minecraft, the, in my opinion, better Minecraft. But anyways, in today's video. I'm just be talking about it because we bring in PS4 edition sports back. So for those that don't know, I used to run a PS. I used to run a football league, basketball league, soccer league, hockey league, lacrosse. Hell, we had every fucking sport. There's some. There's not videos of all the sports being played like baseball, and lacrosse, and I don't think we have soccer either. But we did used to run them back in the day. And we're bringing it back, but for now we're bringing back football. Then we'll do basketball and hockey together. Uh, then start back up with football. I don't know how far in the future that's going to look like, but as of right now, we're starting on football. This season we are doing high school teams, well high school themes teams. And the reasoning for that is because we've already done professional, like we already done the NFL shit, like for so for so long. I decided why not switch it up. And there's no reason for us to do college either. Maybe, maybe we will. I don't know. But we're doing high school themes. Teams. We got three high schools: Sterling High School, home of the Stallions. We got Henry Wisewood High School, home of the Warriors, and we got Saint Edith High School, home of the Bulldogs. Sterling being orange and white, with a little bit of black. Henry Wisewood being blue and white, and Saint Edith being red and gray. So yeah, now I'm going to talk about this season. Let's get it. All right, so first of all, for football, we have three teams. The reason why we're running with three teams is because it's safer to go with three teams because if teams aren't in if teams aren't as active, you know, then we get put in a cycle where we have to reschedule games, push time back and it's just inconsistent. With three teams, it is the safest. We do have a lot of guaranteed subs just in case people can't make it to their games so yeah also it's been a minute since we did three teams and you know we started out with three teams why not keep it going with three teams you feel me if we get more people or if we figure something out then we'll bring it back to four teams but with three teams the number one seed gets to the championship easy and yeah so the standings right now is the sterling stallions which is my team is two and oh henry wisewood high school is uh on 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 one right now I apologize, uh, Ryan and Drew, if I'm butchering your name. Pretty sure I'm not, but you never know. And St. Edith is also 0-1. So in this week's game, I don't know which day it will be between Friday through Sunday. Which I don't know which day on the weekend is going to be, but that is the tiebreaker. If my team wins next week, we automatically clinch the championship game. But I don't think um, I have the right to say that we can do that yet. So, yeah, next week determines who is in second place because right now they in the three way tie. We're going to play we're going to play four games, then get then playoff game, then finally we're going to play um the championship game. I'm not going to say what stadium the championship's going to be played at, but just know it's not going to be played most likely not going to be played at a high school field. Let's just let's just say that. Now for every team I'm going to talk about every team, and we're going to start with the Warriors. The Warriors lost by 22 points to my team, and the Bulldogs lost by 20 to my team. Now, the Warriors have two veterans on the team with one rookie, and honestly, they're a solid team, but on offense, their only struggle is the quarterback position. If they, get a, if they figure out the quarterback situation, they should be solid on offense, but they look a little rough on the edges. Defensively, they look like an average defensive team, but if they can't get that offense going, they look like a bottom bottom 30 team in the league. So, yeah, that's all I got to say about them. Next, you got the Bulldogs. And the Bulldogs high key look like the best team on paper as they got three veterans on their team, no rookies. And high key, on paper, they look like the best team. I ain't even going to cap. Having Frog, Will, and Kippen on the same team is kind of, kind of dangerous. But all I gotta say about that is, if you know, you know. Their defense is a top tier defense as they do apply really good pressure. But the only thing about their defense is that, 
if they can't get anything going on the offensive side, which they seem to struggle with yesterday, then their defense will shake it, shake up, but their offense is actually pretty solid as they're the only team right now with a consistent playbook. They're not just freestyling like uh, the Stallions. Honestly, this team... Don't sleep on this team, Brad. This team, this team could clinch that first seed if they make a, if they make a comeback. Although they are on one, they can still win two games, or three games, four games, five games. Yeah. Overall, if they're not average, they're just a really good team, and I see great things from this team. Next week is going to be a really good game between them and the Warriors, as honestly, things seem to be heated up. There's a little trash talk here. There's a little trash talk there, and um. I can't wait to stream that game. I ain't really got much to say about the team other than the fact that on paper they're the best team and all around they're mid or better than mid. Now we're going to talk about my team, which is the last team. All I got to say about my team is that my team is the newest, technically the newest team, least experienced team. I got a lot more rookies on my team and less experienced players. And I only did that, and we only have that because I'm the best player in the league and yeah so give me the worst team and make the other two teams kind of balanced out and you get a you get a interesting league right now my team is 2-0 and and the other teams are both 0-1 trying to see who's going to be in second place next week so stay tuned for that game now i'm going to talk about the changes in this league and talk about the other sports so yeah let's get it I'm gonna be real. There's not really much changes in this um, for this league. I mean, not league, but um, for this season. The only key changes, besides the things I mentioned in the new rules video, is only the fact that for this league, it's a more pass-heavy league. That's all I'm gonna say. Like, it's more of a pass-heavy league as crossbows and bows, um, and are used way more. So this allows for more creative plays and overall just for the league to kind of just go faster because back in season three, although me and Ryan decided it'd be better for us to use bows and crossbows for passing, we didn't necessarily use them as much as we should have because this league has been a run heavy league ever since the team thing has been vault. And the thing is about running the ball is that, yeah, it's interesting and cool to see like a run break out for like 20 plus yards or shit like that, but it gets predictable over time and that's how games were weren't as high scoring as they should have been like in season in season three i believe our highest scoring game was in week two when the wildcats played the surge and then other than that the games were just closer well besides the absolute blowout the wildcats gave the tigers but we don't talk about that game we do but not in this video Anyways, season four, it was kind of the same thing, but except for my team was the only team that was passing, as m that was passing the most. So now, so now in this season, passing is just encouraged a lot more. Passing used to be very risky because it was like, well, if you miss the shot, you're 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 fucked because you're wasting a down and not getting any yards. Well, why with a run you could just get three yards all game and then turn a one possession game into 20 minutes but with passing you turn a one possession game into 30 seconds if you, if you have an accurate quarterback i me personally i don't have a playbook yet and i'm just freestyling my players giving them jet sweeps or just throwing them the ball with the crossbow while other teams are finding out how to get rid of with the crossbow so now it's just more of a pass heavy league if you can't pass if you can't pass a rock you'll have a slower offense and that will lead to your team just being mid, if I'm being completely honest. That's why my team has been kind of owning the other teams, because we're more pass-heavy, and I'm just the best quarterback in the league, and that's as simple. So, yeah, that's really the only change in this league, that it's more pass-heavy, and I encourage the pass, because, you know, instead of setting up a run play, then calling the play, all that, that took too long, and that and that's kind of just boring. Honestly, passing is way more interesting as it can set up for creativity creativity, and you could just scramble out as a quarterback because there's not much handoffs in the league. It's rather quarterback keeps or quarterback fakes. So, yeah, 
But with that being said, that's all I got to say about Minecraft football. For Minecraft, hockey, and basketball, we are bringing it back. For the basketball situation, we're bringing back slime ball. Go to the Season 1 playlist that I have for Minecraft Sports, and you'll see exactly what I mean by slime ball basketball. Because snowball basketball was too easy, and if you go to the Season 2 playlist, you'll see what I mean. As in for hockey, we're, we got to do Season 2 hockey because, you know, they made the update a long time ago. That's why we had to change up hockey in the first place. But I'm still undecided if we're going with teams of two or teams of one. So, yeah, if we do teams of two, there's less teams at the most four teams. But the problem with that is that there's four teams and that's it. It's just an endless cycle of everybody playing each other once so yeah although it will be more fun and more interesting you still have less teams but if we do solo hockey which is just 1v1 then there's more teams but at the same time it's not as fun and a team that's not as good could get discouraged because they're not winning games as much because they're just getting dogged every game so yeah, we kind of, I'm kind of undecided on it. Maybe we'll take a vote or maybe I'll just, as commissioner, just see what we should do. Test it out with scrimmages and all that. But with that being said, that's all I got on the Minecraft, on the Minecraft PS4 edition sports league. So, yeah, we'll keep y'all posting and updated. Hope to see y'all in some streams because um this week we got an interesting game going on. I don't have a date for when the game will be played, but I will say that, I will say this. Every Thursday, we are going to try to schedule these games to see if we're doing anything. Because if we schedule the game now on a Monday, uh, then something happens on a Friday, it's not going to look good. So we're not going to guarantee that we're going to play a game five days ahead of the schedule. So, yeah, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. And uh, hope to see you on future streams, and I'll see you on the next video. I'm out. Peace.